Good morning, and friends. I'm your friendly announcer. I've got some serious news to pass on to everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome once again to the Mental House. I'm your host, Khadija. Glad to have you out here today. Glad that you could be with me. Listen, I wanted to make a video right away just to, first of all, make some corrections um, to the video that I made prior, I think, to this one about the uh, people and the children in Flint. I was so damn upset, and I'm still upset about that, that... Um, I had to uh, make a quick video just to get it out of my spirit, but today I just want to come and make some corrections, and I just want to revisit it a little bit, even though I know it's not Raw Ratchet Wicked Wednesday. Um, I just want to settle this, and I'll be back a little later with another video. Um, first of all, let me say that the asshole that I uh, referred to as the mayor was not the mayor, uh, the prior mayor, I should say. I know there's a black mayor now, a lady. But the governor, and his name is Governor Snyder, okay, he is who should be in the freaking fracking jail right now. Governor Snyder. And in fact, I think every American, I mean, irregardless of color, race, if you're not in that 1%, you should be banging on Flint like the rest of us. Flint needs to be banged on because it's only a matter of time before they get the rest of us. Because let me tell you something. If you're not in the 1%, you're fucked. Okay, so all of you ones that are sitting around going, but I'm not a nigger. <laughs> I'm not a nigger or, what, or something like that. If you got that kind of mindset, it's really sad for all of us because these people are crazy. They are trying to kill us with the elements. Again, as I said before. What has really had my blood boiling is because I said something that 8,000 children were inflicted with um, lead. What I failed to mention, and I said, you know, I said 8,000 children were poisoned. What I failed to mention was that there are only 8,000 children. So all the children in Flint, Michigan have been poisoned. Y'all hear what I said? All the children have been poisoned poisoned 8,000 children have high levels of lead high level and if you don't know the damage of lead why don't you go and do a survey and look out look at some of these surveys that nobody want to deal with that a lot of these prisoners people that are in jail and what the levels of lead are in their um uh, bodies I did this study with some people that I was working with out of the University of Wisconsin um um, oh man, over 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and um, there was a, de a direct coalition between lead and violent behavior. Okay, lead and craziness. Lead damages the brain. Okay, so that's why there's a concerted effort, you know, when you have these old houses, you know, and they have, especially in the town I live in, it's a bunch of lead houses. And there's a lead abatement program, which I'm sure goes on all across the country, where these people come in and you have to get up out your house and they go through the house and they supposedly rid your, your house of all the lead paint. Okay, because of all the paint back in the day was lead based. Okay, so you got a lot of people, early Americans, whose lead base are very, very, very high. Okay, now, which we know again causes brain damage. I'm very disturbed because there's a uh, now reported, le uh, I think it's uh, Legionnaire's disease. Okay. Um, see, sadly, um, this kind of behavior can be traced all the way back throughout history. It can be traced um, this type of, in these type of people that do have a disregard for life disregard for humanity so they've always been here 
you know, with this nature that I don't care. Let's just poison them all. Let's just kill them all. Let's just do whatever. It, it justifies the means. And there's a lot of people out there with this particular mindset, black and white. And they need to be checked and they need to be dealt with. Um, I'm very disturbed because this guy, Governor Snyder, is standing up in an assembly with a bunch of other politicians. And these drones are sitting there standing up clapping because he made a comment that the Flint is a, uh, a disaster area. He wants to de declare it a disaster area, which we already know. But he failed to mention that he's the fucking person that created the damn disaster. <laughs> he goes, we're not going to stop until every person is held accountable. You can just start with you, and then it, it ends. So I don't know if you guys have had a chance to look at that. It's the most craziest. This is what I'm saying about um, gaslighting and... Uh, when a society is so diabolical and so crazy, where they'll look at you directly in your eye and just talk, just talk lies, talk out the side of their neck, uh, just with the forked tongue that the Native Americans talked about. I mean, he's standing up with his suit on, highfalutin suit, with all these other guys uh, standing around in the um, assembly with him, all the other Caucasian guys, and this fool is sitting up there talking about he is going to get whoever <laughs> is responsible for this. I'm like, honey, start with your own ass, hang your own ass up to dry, and then they need to put your ass somewhere and make you drink that freaking water. You and your babies. All you, your family, your grandkids, all of y'all can drink the water. How about that? How about that? And since you think that only saying I'm sorry is good enough, and you got people sick and babies brain damaged, and you think your your best is well. I'm sorry, and we're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Um, that's totally unacceptable. So again, I'm joining Michael Moore, and uh, on the crusade to uh, this, that this that that mayor needs to be um, locked up. I mean, the, the governor needs to be arrested, criminally charged, and put in jail. <laughs> um. It's important that y'all know that the city nor the state has supplied the residents with any water. Or f uh, filters, I should say. E or water. Last I heard. Last I heard, the filters and the donations that were coming in, you had to, had to ultimately, like Elijah Muhammad always said, you better do for self. Ultimately, all the donations that came in, came in through other people. People like you and I people that are empaths who don't want to see the suffering of our fellow human being. So we made the sacrifices in our own families to send the people water. I was informed, thank you for the information too, by Tron, uh, one of our subs on the page, that said that they still have to pay, people in Flint are still expected to pay a fucking water bill. These people have to pay for the water that's poisoning them? Wait, wait, uh, listen. I want y'all to hear me. The government is supposed to be the people. We know it's been hijacked by corporations, but it's enough of us to hijack the country back. That's how I look at it. Either that, either, like Dr. King said, either we're going to learn to live as brothers or we're going to perish as fools because nothing else is going to happen. You see, America ain't going to give up shit. We're going to have... And we're going to take whatever we have to have. It's got to be taken. Okay? Nobody gives you anything. Okay? You think this mayor is going to, I mean, this governor is going to voluntarily say, Oh, yes, I fucked up. And I think I will just turn myself into the jailhouse so they can lock me up for 10 years. Or 28, like we've given our my other fair uh, fellow politician you know, down there in Detroit, 28 years. Do you actually think this Governor Snyder is going to sign up this put his ass in jail? No. It's going to have to be done by force. You're going to have to take him. Uh, the people going to have to speak. Okay? You're going to have to speak. This is totally unacceptable. The government has failed these people. They have not even given water or filters to the people. Donations have come from the people outside of Flint, Michigan. 
They they're absolving themselves of any uh, pretty much uh you know we we said we did it damn you know and the water still fucked up today but damn that's their attitude and it has to be dealt with it 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 really has to be dealt with they're reckless thoughtless uh actions done on people who they deem is less than them. Is the only way something like this would happen. There is a movement to arrest Governor Schneider. Governor Schneider should be arrested. He should be arrested. He should be put in jail. And that should be the end of the story. And now that we know that these lawmakers fabricated reports. About the water's findings and the contamination levels in the water. Now that we know this is all bullshit too. So they were all in. All of them need to go. All of them need to go. So, I wanted to come back. I'm glad y'all allowed me to finish this because I didn't want to leave that stone unturned. I've been talking to some people, boots on the ground, uh, about this situation. And it's very dire. So, those of y'all who got family, friends, and know people in Michigan, uh, Flint, reach out to them. Which I'm sure you probably have. Um, but I, I encourage you to keep doing it and finding out what they need, what what they need from us uh, to assure them and ourselves that nothing like this can ever happen again in the so-called free society. Okay? All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being out there. I'll be back later probably with another video. Um, but... Thank you for allowing me to correct some of the stuff I said earlier. All right. And for those of y'all who own y'all way out, have a blessed and wonderful day. Okay. And I'm going to see y'all next time in the mental house. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye-bye.